Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how yet to make another easy progress bar in verse code for Unreal Editor for Fortnite. I know you're probably thinking, you know, if there was only just another progress bar tutorial, your life would be complete. Well, wait no, <laughs> wait no further. It's here today. So I was inspired to do this because someone actually left a comment on one of my tutorials. I don't even know how to pronounce this. T Woodrow Mengistai 413 and the person commented do this with a slider UI component much more customizable and I started thinking about that oh the slider in Unreal Editor is a progress bar so that's what I decided to do so here it is so I'm just in a blank island template and I've got a verse device in the scene. I've got one spawner device and I have a trigger, which is just a passive device. Every time I go over the trigger, I'm going to get five points. So this is what this looks like. I like to show you what things look like because then you may decide you don't want to do this. So you'll see up top, I've got my score and it's set to zero. Now I'll come across here and look five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and it just keeps going. It is so cool. This is the way to go. There is no question in my mind that the slider is what you want for your progress bar. There is no question about it. And you can put it anywhere on the screen, and it's a progress bar. Who would have thought that the slider is the progress bar? Interesting, huh? So anyway, what does this look like in the verse code? Well, let's take a look at it and see. Okay, it's not that hard to do. You need these modules up here, especially colors and simulation. And so we just have a localizes message type, and you can call this, this is where you would put the label for your progress bar, whatever you want to call it. And then we have an at editable for the trigger, an at editable for the spawner. And then we have our slider, which I'm just calling my slider, and it's a slider regular. And I'm setting it here. You can set the initial value right here, up here when you instantiate it to zero. And then we're creating a variable called number, and it's a float, and this is how we're gonna increment the progress bar. And then we have two events that we've created. So we have reference to my spawner, spawn event, subscribe to this method that we've created. I've only created two, well technically three methods here. So the one is called update value, the other is called make progress, and the other is the creates my UI. When the player spawns in, it calls here, it requires an agent, agent comes in, nothing goes out, and then essentially we just get the player UI, we make a call here to create the UI, and then assign that to new UI, and then we add that to our player's UI. And only the player can see this UI. And since it's going to be a progress bar, it, it doesn't need to be triggered to come on and come off. It's on at the beginning, and when the game's over, it goes away. So we're not storing it anywhere. It's it's always on the screen. It's just a like a permanent, persistent HUD element for the time that the player's playing the game. And then every time the player steps on the on the trigger. We call here to update value and we reference my slider. We set the value and we just simply increment it by five. And you can change this value to whatever you wanted. And here we just create our UI and I have the text block that we used for the name of the progress bar and name colors. You may not know this. I didn't know this myself, but name colors, there's nearly 300 colors that you can call up in here. It, it's pretty crazy but I found gold to be a good one. And here you just set the, on the slider, you can set the max and the min values. There's a lot of options with the slider, so you can go and look at that in the digest. And here we're just doing an overlay, and then you can position this anywhere you want with these controls in here. And then it returns my overlay, what this is called. So when this gets called, this brings back the overlay and is our new UI that we put on the, the player's widget. And that is all there is to it. And I don't know if I can squeeze all this on the screen. That's pretty much it right there. I think that's the whole code. Pretty much. So there's the top part. 
And there's the bottom part. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care.